So hello friends, in this video we will see more problems related to the pipes and system. Okay, so let us consider the problem. Two pipes A and K, A and B can fill the system in 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. Okay, 12 minutes and 15 minutes respectively. While the third pipe C while a third pipe C can empty the full tank in 16 mi 6 minutes ok these two are filling fills and this one is empty ok so A takes 12 minutes to fill the tank and B takes 15 minutes to fill the tank C takes 6 minutes to empty the full tank so A and B are kept open for 5 minutes A and B are kept open for 5 minutes then then C also open then C also open then C also open so in B in what time is the system is empty in what time the system is empty so in what time system is emptied system is emptied so A takes 12 minutes, B takes 15 minutes to fill the tank and C takes 6 minutes to empty the whole tank. A and B are kept open for first 5 minutes and then C also open. So in what time the system is empty. Okay. So that means, so in all 3 cases the tank is constant and the capacity of the tank is also constant. So that's why I am taking the capacity of the tank as the LCM of 6, 12 and 15. LCM of 6, 12 and 15. So 3, 2, ja, 3, 4, ja, 3, 5, ja, and then 2, 1, ja, 2, 2, ja, and 5. Okay, 5. So that is going to be 5, 2, ja, 10, 10, 2, ja, 20, 20 into 3, that is 60. So the capacity of the tank is 60 units. Capacity of the tank is 60 units. So A takes 12 minutes to fill 60 units. That means A fills 5 units per minute b takes 15 minutes to fill the tank so that means b is filling 4 units per minute c takes 6 minutes to empty the tank that means c empties minus 10 units per minute 10 units per minute okay so initially a and b are kept open for 5 minutes if a and b are working together so they will fill 9 units per minute so if they are worked for 5 minutes, 9 into 5, that means 45 units are filled. So 45 units are filled by A and B together in first 5 minutes. Okay, 5 minutes. After that, C is also open. C is also open. C is also open. So that means the resultant is going to be 5 units and 4 units minus 10. So if all 3 are open, the resultant is going to be 1 unit per minute. So, in result end is going to be 1 unit per minute. So, the negative sign represents it is empty. So, after 5 minutes, the 45 units per minute are already filled in the tank. So, this one is available in the tank. 45 units are available in the tank. If C also open, the result end is going to be, they are going to be empty minus 1 unit per minute. So, already 45 units are there and they all three are open then one unit is empty for the minute so that means they are going to be take 45 minutes to empty the tank to empty the tank so i hope you got this one let's see another example another example two pipes a and b can fill the tank in 6 hours 4 hours respectively again two pipes are there they can fill the tank in 6 and 4 hours, 6 hours and 4 hours respectively, 6 and 4 hours respectively. If they are opened on alternative days, they are opened on alternative days, they are opened on alternative days, okay. And pipe A is opened on the first day, and pipe A is opened on first day on first day so how many hours the tank shall be full so in how many hours the tank will be filled we have to find how many hours 
it is takes to fill the tank. So let us take A takes six hours and B takes four hours. Okay, and alternative days. And pipe A is open on the first day. So if they are working on alternative days, then how long it will take to fill the tank? So A takes six hours, B takes four hours. So in the both the cases, actually the tank is the same and the capacity of the tank is also same. So I will take the capacity of the tank as the LCM of six comma four. The LCM of the is going to be six comma four. The LCM of four comma six is two two ja three three ja six, and it is going to be twelve. So the capacity of the tank is twelve units. Okay. The capacity of the tank is 12. So first of all, A pipe is taking six hours. That means it is filling two units per hour. Second one is taking four hours to fill the tank. That is means second one is taking uh, filling three units per hour. Okay. So both are working on alternative days. That means on the first day A will fill two units. On the second day B will fill five units. That means that means in two days. In two days, they will fill five units. In two days, they will fill five units. In two days, they will fill. In two days, they will fill five units. Okay. In two days, they will fill five units. So they have to fill twelve units. That means they are going to be filled in four days. They will fill ten units. In four days, they will fill ten units. So the remaining units are what? Two units. The remaining units are. Two units. So on fifth day, because the A is started on the first day, so on fifth day A is going to be work. So A will fill two units per day. So that means to fill the remaining two units, A is going to be take one day. So A and B working on all alternative days. In four days they fill two units. On the fifth day, A alone will finish the remaining two units. That means in total they are going to be take five days. In total. they are going to be take five days so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you have any doubt please leave a comment